Morning guys, it is now Saturday. It is going on quarter to nine. I have a few minutes before um, somebody else gets here to open up the office because I don't have keys to the office. Um, but yeah, so I got a couple minutes, so I figured I'd let you guys know how things went. So last night I did end up finishing The Duchess Steel by Tessa Dare. Um, I initially rated it four stars, but I think I'm going to actually give it three because I really just disliked Ash so much. I mean, even when he started to get better in the book, he wasn't that much better. And honestly, I feel like this book was just way too condensed and there was so much more in the story that should have been fleshed out more. This is completely opposite of what I felt with the Countess of Harley mysteries, where the brevity of the stories was perfectly done because even though they were so short, they packed such a quick punch. And this book, for instance, it was longer than any of the Countess of Harley mysteries by like almost 50 pages. And it still felt like I was missing things. It still felt like I was not getting every possible thing in the story that I was looking for. So I feel like it was fine, but it was not by any means my favorite story that I've ever read. And I don't know whether or not the governess game, which is what I'm working on right now, which is book two, if that's going to be any better. Because immediately in the first couple of chapters, we find out we're following one of um, Emma's friends, Alexandra, who seems to be like a really nervous kind of person. Like she gets very intimidated by other people really quickly. And toward the end of the Duchess deal, you find that she meets with this man at a bookshop where he asks her for recommendations for some books for a couple girls and he accidentally leaves with her book because when they meet books had been scattered basically around them and they were picking them up and he accidentally took her book home and she took his book home and then she in the first chapter or first couple chapters of the book of the governess game she goes to him to I think work on clocks because her job is that she actually is, is able to fix clocks. She works at a clock, clockman, whatever the place is. I don't quite know. Um, she works fixing them and setting the times and everything. And he mistakes her for applying for a governess position for his, for the two girls, which I think are his daughters or at the very least his nieces, his wards, something like that. Like they're somehow, he is somehow in charge of them. And I guess this guy is considered a rake, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is like a player of sorts. Like he slept around, obviously, with a lot of women and like people don't really like him because of that. Um, I don't know. Like I, I want to like these books because I've heard Tessa Dare is a really good romance author. I just don't think that Regency romances are my thing unless they have something else involved in them. Like as much as I like the sex scenes that Tessa writes... I do not really care for the time period that they are written in. And again, if they're going to be written in the time period that they are, I would prefer them to be something like the Countess of Harley stories where there's more to the book as opposed to just romance. Like, I like the Countess of Harley books because they were mysteries first and foremost, and they had like a romantic subplot kind of going through all of the books. And this one, it's just, it's, erotica basically it is a romance it and it has incredibly erotic scenes and I'm just I guess not a fan of the regency time period or like the the subtype of romance that is involving historical fiction because I like a good romance do not get me wrong but I just don't think that anything involving a historical fiction setup is what I'm enjoying. So I don't know whether or not I'm going to continue. I'm going to keep trying the governess game and see if it ends up picking up my fancy because at this point I'm not far enough into it to really comfortably be able to DNF it. I usually like to wait until about 10% of the book or more before I decide to DNF because I feel like at 10% it gives me a good enough idea of what the book is and whether or not I'm enjoying it. So... I don't know, but I am going to change my rating on Goodreads from a four star for The Duchess Deal to a three star. But I don't think that this is going to end up becoming 
a series I'm going to enjoy fully, which is kind of disappointing. But at the same time, I kind of knew what I was getting into because I've never done well with Regency romances in the past. So I did not expect to enjoy this really all that much, but we will try nonetheless. So Hey guys, so it is now 347 on Sunday and I have officially decided to DNF the governess game and then therefore DNF the rest of the Girl Meets Duke series by Tessa Dare. I don't really like this book. I feel like I honestly hate the way that this one is being written more than I hated Ash in book one. And that says a lot, because y'all know, based on the other footage of this video, how much I hated Ash. I don't know. So, I think, coming down to it, the biggest thing is I just don't like Regency romances. I think that is the biggest problem I have. So, I'm not completely writing off Tessa Dare at all. I think that if I was to read other stories by Tessa Dare, I would be fine with it. I just don't know if maybe this series is for me. Um, I especially don't like the governess game because I had no interest in any of the friends that Emma had, um, from the Duchess deal because the whole series is companion novels following the four women that are involved with the Duchess deal, which is the first one following Emma. And then I think book two is Alexandra, book three is Penny, and then the fourth book, which does not come out until next year, is supposed to be Nicola. And I don't really feel like I got to know those women much at all in the Duchess deal to really care about them. And so, especially with this one, I don't like Alexandra as a character. I find her incredibly infuriating. And so having her as our heroine is not something that I was really interested in. And I just don't really like the way that this was being written as well, um, where she was being thrust into something that she was trying to get out of and she almost like couldn't and I just I don't know something about the way that this was written was not gelling with me very much but I did get through like 30% of this before I decided to officially DNF it so I made some good progress in it and I probably could have finished it because the audiobook was only going to take me like three and a half hours to read um I just I couldn't do it I, I just couldn't continue with it so Unfortunately, I will be DNFing the Girl Meets Duke series, but if there are other series by Tessa Dare that you think I may enjoy more, I am willing to try other Regency romances of hers because they all can't be that bad. I, like I said, had, you know, the Diane Freeman uh, Countess of Harley mysteries where I really liked that even though it was placed in kind of the same time frame. Um, so I'm not completely writing off Regency romances at all, but they are not my favorite and I think I have to basically find ones that just work better for me. So I won't write her off just yet um, because I did at least kind of enjoy the Duchess deal. I just don't think I care enough about the other characters to really read their stories. So anyway, thank you so much to Issa for recommending the series to me. I'm sorry I didn't enjoy it as much as I think you had hoped I would, but do not despair. I will try more Tessa Dare in the future and I might find something that I enjoy because she has a long catalog of things to go through. So we will try her stories another time. But for right now, that's going to be it for this episode of Finish Your DNF. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be and would like to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.